I'm Abby Phillips of the Finance News Network. Don't miss tomorrow's webinar to hear a keynote presentation from Shore and Partners and discuss all things marine technology systems, lithium ion batteries and natural hydrogen. You can register via the Share Cafe or FNM website. Now let's take a look at the stocks of the hour. Vintage Energy announces an additional two-year gas sale under the Master Gas Supply Agreement for the Odin Gas Field. The joint venture parties have agreed and signed terms with Pelican Point Power for the supply of gas from the 1st of January 2025 to the 31st of December 2026. Shares are trading flat at 2.7 cents. Rumble Resources has announced that high-grade zinc and lead has been intersected at the Irahidi project. The width and tenor of mineralisation intercepted indicates that potential feeder faults exist at the project and confirms the prospectivity for the 9km times 3km area to host high-grade zinc, lead, sulphide mineralisation. Shares are trading 4.76% higher at 11 cents. QX Resources has signed a formal documentation to acquire a 75% interest in the 100 km squared Liberty Lithium Brine project in the USA. In response, QXR's Managing Director Steve Prominence said, The Liberty Lithium Brine project is potentially a new large-scale lithium brine project, in the right location with good infrastructure and a pathway to development. Shares are on a trading halt last traded at 2.3 cents. Dimerix and Advanced Pharma have entered into an exclusive license agreement for the UK, Switzerland, Canada, Australia and New Zealand for the commercialisation of Dimerix Phase 3 drug candidate DMX200 for the treatment of FSGS, which is a rare type of kidney disease. Dimerix will receive up to approximately $230 million in upfront and milestone payments plus royalties. Shares are trading 88.52% higher at 11.5 cents. Blue Glass Limited has been named a member of the commercial leap ahead for the Wide Band Gap Semiconductors Hub. This is a part of the US $238 million funding initiative for FY23 to establish these hubs, aimed at boosting America's capabilities in cutting-edge microelectronics development and production. Shares are trading 13.51% higher at 4.2 cents.